Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review. Today, very excited to check it out. Goblet from Blue Orange Games. This is for two players, probably about ages six plus, taking about five to ten minutes to play. And in Goblet, you are going to be taking your wooden pieces, and this is an abstract strategy game, you're going to be putting them onto the board in the hopes of getting four in a row. But the big catch with this game is that some of the pieces are going to be smaller than other pieces, and you can whoop, eat your opponent's pieces and take that spot from them it is a quick little abstract strategy game but is it good let's open it up and i'll tell you what i think Alrighty then we're gonna take a look at what you're gonna get inside of goblet so first and foremost as you can obviously tell i have a wooden version of the game so i'm mostly going to be uh commenting on the wooden version and also on the gameplay because well i don't have the standard version of the game i also don't have the rules book with it it didn't come with the rule booklet so i had to look it up i had to get a pdf of it so uh the rules were pretty well done i will say it could have been just a smidge bit clearer i think it's just one page but i wish it would have had some examples of exactly what you could do but overall it was a well done rule booklet should have you up and running in no time at all and i can teach you how to play right now because it's very simple in goblet you are going to try to get four of your pieces in a row either diagonally or orthogonally and if you can do that you will win the game but it's not going to be that easy because the pieces are all different sizes and other people are going to potentially be eating your pieces by placing their goblet on top of it. But, getting ahead of myself, let's go over the components, then we'll get into the gameplay. So component-wise, everybody's going to have three of these, which will have a small, uh, another small, uh, slightly larger, a medium, yeah, you get it. They're slightly bigger than the other. They're kind of like Russian dolls. Uh, and... On your turn, you're going to do really one of two or three things. So the first thing you can do is you can take one of your top three pieces, and you do have to keep them in whatever order they are, uh, and put it on the board. So I could do this. And then next turn, I could put this piece, this piece, or this tinier piece on. So let's just say I go here, this guy goes here, I go right here, this guy decides to put this one out, which brings me to the next move that you can do. The next move that you can do is that you can take one of your pieces on the board and you can move it to anywhere you want, as long as that spot is either A, unoccupied, or B, occupied by a smaller piece. So let's go uh, to this particular example here. Uh, I could go right here if I wanted to, and I could cover that up. I could go right here, and I could cover my own up, or I could go here, I could go any of the other empty spots. But you have to be able to take over that spot by covering something up or there nothing being there. So I might just go right here. Now this piece is not out of the game, uh, but if I ever move my black piece, then the white piece goes back into the game. So the next, that's the next move. You can take over a, a piece that's on the board with one of your pieces that's already on the board, or just move your spot. The last thing you can do is that you, if someone has three in a row, like now they have three in a row right there, then what you can do is you can break the rules of the game a little bit and you can take one of your pieces that's not on the board and use it to cover up a piece that is on the board. So now that would become a legal move, but only when they have three in a row. Normally, it's not a legal move. And there can be some uh, some sticky situations that you can get into, like where someone might not even notice that they have three in a row, like right there, and then you can kind of just be like, oh, yeah, boom, three in a row, baby. Oh, they're like, what? I, oh, I did have three in a row. Uh, but we'll talk more about the pros and cons. But anywho, the first person to get four in a row wins the game. And that, in a nutshell, is how you're going to play Goblet. Alrighty then, Goblet from Blue Orange Games. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the con side. Uh, and I do want to mention right at the beginning, like I did in the middle part, I have this fancier wooden version of the game, so I can't really speak to the original version of the game and the components in that, or the rule booklet. I just had a PDF. But still, gameplay-wise, cons. Uh, it's light, it's simple. While there is some definite strategy in this game, it's still a very light strategy, which will be a turnoff to some people. If you're hoping for a game that's going to be a little bit meatier, this one will probably not be for you. And so I'm going to put this game purely in the family slash children's category. Yes, you can play with adults, and yes, you can have a plenty of fun playing this with another adult, but I think it's primarily aimed at kids, and that's probably where I'm going to mostly play it. Continuing on with the con side, it's pretty repetitive. You're going to do the same thing over and over and over again. You only have three real choices on your turn. You can either 
uh, move a piece, place a piece, or in on the off chance, eat somebody else's piece with one of your pieces off the board if they have three in a row. That's pretty much all you're going to be doing. Another comment I have of the game, and this is specifically the wooden version. I'm not actually a big fan of the wooden version. It's just, it's harder to slide the piece of wood in there and start to get scuffed around the outside. And I just would rather have a box, but that's, you know, hey, whatever. Most people are probably aren't going to have the wooden version of the game, unless it's already, always a wooden version of the game. Which, if it is, let me know in the comments below. I'd be very interested about that. But I just don't know if this is the kind of game that deserved a wooden version of it. Like a deluxified version of it. But hey, I I'm really kind of nitpicking here, honestly. Because I don't have too many pro uh, cons. It's light, it's simple, it's aimed at children and family. Two players, very restricted player count. As long as you know that, though, Goblet's a really good family slash children's abstract strategy game. The kids in my class absolutely love this game i've been saying that a lot of the last few weeks i've been really striking gold on these old school abstract strategy games in my classroom and this one might have been the most popular because four score four went over really well pounce went over really well but i think this is the one they like the best i think this hit that perfect zone which for my kids which are age six to ten years old in my classroom of being a game that's is just insanely simple to understand and to learn and to teach, but at the same time had enough strategy that, uh, that was interesting, but then at the same time didn't have too much strategy that, you know, one kid was blowing another kid out of the water because they were better at the game. And I feel like this game did a perfect balancing act of that. And I got to say that I think this is a great two-player abstract strategy family slash children's game now for most other people i'm going to recommend this as like a 7.5 something like that because that's probably where i would put it but if you have kids that are aged 6 to 10 I, i'd say it's a great game i'd say this is absolutely one that you should or you might want to search out and pick up uh if you're in the market for abstract strategy and for me personally this is not one that i would probably have in my collection at home because i would just rather play you know more of a hobby style game as opposed to an abstract strategy game which abstract strategy games feel a lot like mass market style games but still goblin blue arch games this one's really really enjoyable and uh, i enjoyed it a lot as well and it was fun watching the kids develop the strategies and like uh kind of eat other people's pieces and all that sort of stuff. So in the end, Goblet for Blue Arch Games. Definitely one I can recommend if you're in the market for a two-player abstract strategy game. If you're enjoying this review, please sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the show notes down below. If you want to support the channel, uh, click on that little Amazon link, buy anything on Amazon, and it throws a couple pennies my way. It really does help out a lot. And in the comments below, let me know, have you played Goblet? What are your thoughts on the game? And also, uh, is this the only version of the game or is there a regular standard version of the game? Let me know, and as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.